Hi, welcome back to Wigan with Christy. I'm Christy, and today I'm reviewing Sutton by Aesthetica Designs. This is part of their 2019 statement collection. This is in color Caramel Kiss, and this review is for Wig Studio One. Let's dive into this review. Part of the 2019 Statement Collection by Aesthetica Designs. It is just released, and all of these pieces are statement pieces. This is amazing. Sutton is probably going to be in my top five wigs uh, so far of what wearing her. Uh, she has a monofilament top, goes all the way back to this right in here. Let's see. It goes all the way back. Has a temple to temple lace front. It is synthetic fiber with an average size cap. It is actually part of the Aesthetica Designs High Society collection because of the mono top. It's a gorgeous piece. This came to me parted on the left and it didn't come crisscross. And honestly, I think I'm gonna try it in the middle. I have Cheyenne by Renee of Paris. And it's one of my favorite wigs. It's the Creamy Toffee R color. I've worn that a lot this summer. And then I got this. And I think this is going to be my wig for the fall winter. I'm going to try to go down the center here. Now she didn't come that way, so I'm going to have to retrain that. But we just do that with our rubbing of our hands and hot press. Okay, let's try it. Fix that up real good. It's hard to do this when you're on video, but I think that's, that's good for right now with the center part. But if you are a right-sided person and you like doing right side, you can do right side, you can do left side, you can do middle. That's what's great about this mono top, and that's what makes Sutton different than any long bob out there, um, especially if you're comparing to Cheyenne by Renee of Paris, because that just has a center part. You can't go to left or right. And, and actually talking to Grace from Aesthetica Designs, she said that this wig took them a long time to perfect, and it actually comes in a really big box. And it's, it's amazing. Uh, Ellis came in a long a big box too, and I actually thought Ellis was the same size of box as Avalon until I put it next to each other, and it's even bigger than the Avalon box by Aesthetica. Ellis is bigger. And then Sutton's is even bigger. Sutton doesn't fit in my wig closet, actually, or it's gonna have to take its own row. It, it's, it's really big. Because they really wanted to keep this style in the best shape possible. So it's packaged like no other wig I've ever seen before. And uh, so it's really important to keep this wig the way it came and store it that way so that you keep this style the way it looks all the time, right? So just a tidbit of info for you on Sutton and why you might see a price jump in shipping for Sutton because of the large box. Uh, especially if you have to return the wig to a retailer, um, it might cost more because of this huge box that this came in. <laughs> so just keep that in mind if you're thinking about Sutton, but she is worth every penny. I am so excited to review this for you. So I just want to thank Week Studio One for sending me this wig to review for you today. Let's dive into Sutton's review. So Sutton is a medium length cut bob. I would actually call her a long bob, not a medium length. Um, definitely, her and Cheyenne are definitely about the same length. I'm looking at the measurements and they are. I feel it, it is. I don't have Cheyenne's measurements right in front of me, but it just feels the same. So let's actually go ahead and talk about Sutton's measurements. The bang is 13 inches. The sides are 9.5. So it sounds like there's supposed to be a layer here. I don't want to pull on these fibers too much. I have had some shedding with this, and I'm wondering if that's because it's a monofilament top. 
So it says there's some nine and a half. So I'm not really finding those. Oh, no. So they do list a side measurement. I think there is some layering, but it's not a blunt, obvious layer to me. The crown is 14 inches. The nape is 7.5 inches. This wig weighs 4.44 ounces. Let's go ahead and do a spin. Let's go ahead and take a look at this outside. This Caramel Kiss color is amazing and I just love the severe bold highlights and dimension in it. Let's go ahead and take a look inside her cap. Gorgeous monofilament top. Now, a couple of the other Aesthetica Design monofilaments that I've seen have like had this line here. Um, not all of them, but this monofilament goes all the way back to that crown, the temple to temple lace front, cloth ear tabs, open extended nape with the bra strap adjusters, Great stretch to this one. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the Caramel Kiss color. This is not the rooted color, but it's amazing. I actually find the Caramel Kiss color still looks um, natural. I've never had the rooted color, but I'm really happy with just even this one. So someday I hope to try the Caramel Kiss rooted color just to compare them. But for me personally, this is great. I love this color. I really do. I know a lot of people like roots and I typically do too, but you can see I parted that a little crooked, I guess. But it looks really good. So let's talk about this color. I'm gonna get up close here. Caramel Kiss is a medium golden brown with mixed caramel brown and medium gold blonde highlights. Now, another description I found for this is golden brown with light copper blonde highlights. So I thought that was really interesting. That second description actually came from Aesthetica Designs personally. Uh, the other description came off of uh, images found on Google. And I thought the light copper was kind of really cool because I do sometimes see that copper in Caramel Kiss color. I feel like it can sometimes pull that red, like that light red, like. 27, um, like that light highlight of a red. Does it make sense? So sometimes I feel in pictures I've seen of other people is it does have some tones of the copper. Um, and then the first description I had didn't say copper. It said caramel. Um, it said golden brown. Um, so it, it was really interesting to see that color description of it because I was like, yes, because sometimes I see that red and I thinking that I'm seeing things. Um, so it was really nice to see Aesthetica say, um, to say light copper blonde highlights. So I definitely like it. And I think that's why I like this color so much is it does pull in that copper look. Now with this monofilament top, you can do a lot of styling options. Like I told you, you can um, part her on either side or down the middle. I think she does great like behind the ears. You can kind of pull that down from the ear tabs. I want to show you the lace front on this. Really great lace front as usual for Stetica Designs. You can put it up. You can put it to the side. Just lots of things you can do with her. Like I told you before though, I'm probably going to wear her a lot like this down the middle. I really am into that look. But there's because of this monofilament top, you can do so much with her. You can put her all the way back like that and got it off the face because you're going to have this realistic look. If you stay within the monotom, monotop lines, you're going to get that realistic look on the sides. Okay. You want to stay a little bit above that line too to cover any tracks 
or wefts. You can put it all the way to the side. That's cute too, to do a harsh left part or a harsh right part. There's so much you can do with this piece. I feel like this is a classic statement that's needed in all wig closets. It's just a really great piece for all faces. This is kind of like Jameson, but a longer Jameson, which is pretty much right down my alley. I do, I do love Jameson a lot, but I tend not to go to her that often lately. And I think it's a couple reasons. There's um, no extended nape. So I like that uh, Sutton has an extended nape. Uh, those usually do better on me. It also has the monofilament top and it's a little longer. So if you've always been nervous to try Jameson or want a nice monofilament top or an extended nape, those are a little bit more fancier features and you are paying for that, but those are great features to have for a wig and especially if you can uh, afford to spend the extra pennies it's well worth your money now don't forget wig studio one does offer 30 percent off most wigs in their store and this wig so you can save 30 percent off an already discounted price on her and it saves you a lot of money and to me personally i think this is well worth the money for this wig um it's just it's it's great it's great classic piece and really makes a statement. This look is really in right now. This blunt cut, straight bob, long bob, and it looks just fantastic. Wig Studio One is an online retailer that offers support and guidance. If you're looking to buy a wig or toppers or not sure where to start, they are a great company that offers that personalized customization and guidance and personal one-on-one -on -one consultation to find the best piece for you. They have a Facebook page, an Instagram page, and a YouTube channel. They also sponsor a Facebook group called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. It is of almost 6,000 women who have hair loss from some sort of reason, one way or the other, and we're all there to have a community and to offer support to one another. We'd love to have you join our group if you're not yet a part of it. Links to all these will be down below in the description of this video. We hope you guys enjoyed this review of Sutton by Aesthetica Designs. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. You see how to do it right there. I also am on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram yet, it's called Wigging with Christy. I'd love to connect with you over there. I post from hair, from life, from kids, family, and everything in between. So I hope to connect with you over there. I hope you guys have a good day. Don't forget to shine bright, love others, and be kind. I'll see you next time. Bye.